<clears throat> okay. Go here first. Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we arrived in this... Charming place. Yeah, charming's a good way to put it. After a bank job turned south, killing Hosea and Lenny. I'm left with nothing more than a pistol and the on my hip and the rifle on my back. And we're going to try to find a way off this shithole of an island. Still can't believe it. Hosea, Lenny. Hosea was dying anyway. Lenny. Mm, well, you know what they say about pride before a fall. That's all you got to say. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Whatever, Morgan. You're putting on some weight, Micah. I do not like Micah at all. I still think he's an O'Driscoll. He probably is, all things considered. <clears throat> Every time we've run into trouble with Micah, their Driscolls have been around. Can't be the only one who's noticed that. I right, say so I got a Cattleman revolver, my knife, and a bolt action rifle. I'm going to look for the stranger out in the woods. Where is he? Over here, apparently. Looks like we have some natives who don't like me around. Get at us! Get in it! 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 Ah, 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 who are you? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from, I'm asking you? Ah, if you wait ah, five ah, minutes, I can are answer you. you. What are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Come on. I'm an American. <laughs> My name is Leviticus Cornwall.
I don't know. Oh, maybe there's still time to get to the other workers. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, I think I hear voices coming from the other ruins down there. Let's sneak down and take a look. Which way? I'll show you. Baptiste, you don't look good. You should rest here. Okay. You'll need this. Pistol, rifle. Oh. Repeater. Oh. Come. Follow me. Strangely enough, he didn't take my revolver away. Stay close behind me. I know a way we can sneak around. I've got a carbine repeater. Keep quiet and don't kill anyone. If they catch us, they'll murder the workers for sure. Who was that fellow? Shh. One of her accused men. Quick. Hide. Over there. Okay. They moved. Come on. Keep close behind me. Oh, you're going a different way. Hey, hey, buddy. Let's go. Stay close. I don't plan on going far. Okay, follow me. Keep quiet. Oh my god. Okay, because that's what pendejo means. It means shit for brains. <laughs> Two more ahead. Take cover on the other side of this door. I knew pendejo was kind of just like a generic insult. A socialist swing. Except you're... never mind. Okay, I got it. Damn. They're coming from behind us. And now we get a gunfight. Come on out. I ain't gonna hurt you. Well, I'm gonna hurt you. I just shot you in the head, so. Oh my god. Hey. Hey! Hold still, you old wrecker. I'm here. I'm here, Pecker.
estarán bien. Este gringo valiente le salvó la vida. Thank you, my friend. Well, gringo just means white man. We owe you our lives. Yes, thank you. My pleasure. I guess I could translate to American. Makes me miss home. Take care, my friend. Hercules getting a boat lined up to get you and your men out of here. Just meet him at Cinco Torres. We'll be there. Good, good. Here, this is for you. Thanks. It's not much, but it's the least we can do. Good luck getting home. Oh, the man did have one arm. It just looked like maybe his arm was bound behind him. No, they cut his fucking arm off. Well, that didn't take very long at all. Wamar. Yeah, I'd rather have the volcanic pistol. Oh, I could take a shotgun. Yeah, let's take the shotgun. I got the bolt action, I got a shotgun. Okay, let's go find Dutch. Let's go find Mr. Vanderland. I love what they said. I love to see a socialist swing, but this guy is a military dictator. Socialism has been the very definition, well, not definition, very philosophy of many dictators. You know, it's not worth getting into. A little bit of history class can tell you why it just fails in every sense it's been implemented. Every single time. Is that a parrot? That's a parrot. Can I shoot the parrot? I can shoot the parrot. I just shot a fucking parrot. Let's pluck it. Let's get those feathers. Exotic bird meat. I wouldn't eat a parrot. And that's a common house pet. Okay, where is Dutch? No way in hell am I gonna get through that mess undetected. Let's cut through the jungle. Let's hopefully get off this fucking island. Let's avoid all those big old red blips. Yeah, 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 dead or alive. I know, they don't like me very much. I get it. Oh shit, they saw me. How'd they see me? Oh my god, it's not what I hit. I hit back. And then try to run. Ah! 
Kinda wish it would take me a more direct route rather than the fucking road, because clearly the road's not the best way to go. This is a topographical map, so there's cliffs. I gotta find a way around the cliffs, then skirt around. Or I can just climb up some cliffs. That works. Ain't much further. Oop. No, no, no. Let's walk around these cliffs. They fucking saw me. They fucking detected me. How the hell am I supposed to get there? Does it really expect me to go all the fucking way around like this? No way in hell I can get through that town. Oh yeah, put me in an even worse position than I was in before. Yeah, thanks, game. I got a long walk ahead of me. around this and try to skirt through this mess and then back around okay that's certainly one way to do it oop let's go around that fucking spot They're everywhere. God damn it! Seriously, how am I supposed to get to Dutch? How can I get to Mr. Dutch Vanderland?
if it's all but impossible to get around to him. I guess I could go around this way. Let's try that. Yeah, there's a road leading this way. Okay, I don't know why it would take you around the route that would fucking kill you. Other than this game hates me. There we go. Hey. Hey. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, I found the cave Herr Cool spoke of, and also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your foot. Yeah, uh, I've got a bad feeling about this. So, uh, what do we do when we get Javier? Well, uh, gonna get the hell out of here. And set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, uh, get everybody together. Uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> you want to go back to Saint Denis? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. <laughs> Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back <laughs> from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. An insect bite you or something? Cause you gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperado on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir or a gang of pilgrims or something. Whatever you say. A bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump. Sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Hi, it's the Starry. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Good evening. Dinero, the money, the gold. Aquí. Damelo. Oh, it's genuine, yo bag. Oh. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. <coughs> you know, wasn't Fusar one of the fellas Bronte pointed out to us at the party at San Denis? Yeah. You're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. Uh, so I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured. Tied up, beaten, poor bastards. Oh, no, that was me. Are you sure this her Q fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. 
So what happened with John and that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. Uh, because Red Dead Redemption 1 stars John Marston? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Nor am I quite, but that many Pinkertons arriving like clockwork once again? <laughs> Shut up now. You'll have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. <clears throat> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. <clears throat> Just a, just a bit more. <coughs> Weaklings. This way. See, then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. What? What are you doing? Jesus! Easy, Dutch! Take a nap, you old hag. Who's that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was gonna betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You sure you're all right, Dutch? I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive. She did pull a knife on him. Now, shall we proceed? Yes. Listen, <clears throat> son, you think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive, no matter what. So how did you know she was going to betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings. Arthur. Oh my god. Well, maybe we've all just gone rotten. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> she did pull a knife on him and demand more money. Are you? I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? <laughs> Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. <laughs> Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. <laughs> no, la próxima vez será aún más duro. <laughs> bueno, ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. This way. Javier. They're all listening. That's the wrong thing. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. Quiet isn't my strong suit, by the way. <clears throat> we need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. I've got a knife. You take the one on the right. I'll take the left. So much for the count to three. Okay, let's hide the bodies. You grab that one. You are taking too long. Over here.
Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. Some smokes. Not even good ones. Just cigarettes. Let's go in there. Uh, well, you know me, Arthur will cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. Take the other side of this door. Okay, you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Yeah, I'll take the. I'll keep what I got, that's what I'm trying to say. Over here. I need something with a bit more punch. And my shotgun and my okay. rifle are exactly what we need. Oh, uh, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff up. <laughs> exactly. Is there any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. Sugar is actually quite volatile. You'll see. <laughs> Go close to the windows and the doors. Go on, quick. There ain't enough dust. This place is cold. In fact, sugar is extremely volatile. We need to leave Dutch before this place fucking blows with us in it. All right, head on out and wait for me. I'll get this going. Yeah, get away from the damn building, Dutch. Yeah, I don't blame you. We can hide behind that well. Yeah, so I was just about to say. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier. Oh, son of a bitch, you're still alive. Wait, did you just wave at me? The guy just freaking waved at me.
Well, Dutch, seems like you can handle this. Got him. Come on. I can't get a sight. Yeah, I noticed. I'm actually trying to shoot here. Oh, they had a Lancaster. I like the Lancaster. I'm going back for it. Got me a repeater! I'm running like hell! Fuck all of you! Oh, it turns out the Lancaster's based off the Winchester 1866. I'm pretty sure Javier's dead. Too many, Dutch! Thank God they have Stormtrooper aim! Oh, just hold off the remaining of the guards. That's... Why didn't I think of that? It's not like I'm frickin' surrounded here with limited ammunition, selected weapons. And the shadows look like guards. Hey, fuck you! Where are you? Fuck you!
And fuck the horse you rode in on, and fuck the whore that shat you out. Hell hath no fury. All right. Now, we did what you asked. It's like I said. Fusa knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, my friend. Fuso has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could leave right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come. Follow me. I am going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I keep fighting my way off this shithole of an island. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.